Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I want to go over some word problems with fractions uh, as practice for any standardized test, specifically the ASVAB military entrance exam. So these are pretty hard problems, but you've got to read the problem, really decode what they're saying, convert it into numbers, and then use all your fractional math skills to go along with it. I highly recommend you have a notebook out in front of you with a pencil, pause the video, do the problem before I do the problem, and then go ahead and unpause the video and watch how I do it. I'd highly recommend you mark up the problem and really figure out what you are given and what you are being asked before you even try and solve it. All right, I'm only gonna do these three problems, quick review of fractional word problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 32, four friends, so there's a number four, split six and a half pounds of candy how many candies does each friend get? So the total amount is six and a half, and I know I gotta split that by four. So what that means is I have six and a half divided by four, right? So the total amount, and I got four friends. So what I'm gonna do is turn this into not a mixed number. The way I do that is I do the integer six times the denominator two. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13 and that gives me 13 halves. I'm gonna take that 13 halves and divide it by four. The way I divide fractions is I multiply by the reciprocal, and what that means is I change that to multiplication. I take that four, which is four over one, and I flip it over, and that gives me 13 halves times one-fourth. Uh, I see if I could reduce anything. There's nothing there to reduce. 13 times 1 is 13, 2 times 4 is 8, it gives me 13 eighths. I look over here, I don't see it there, so I'm going to turn it into a mixed number. 8 goes into 13 one time, 13 minus 8 is 5, so it gives me 1 and 5 eighths. I look over here, correct answer, answer B. Number 33, Terry has a cord that is 23 and a quarter inches long, and he needs to divide it into three-quarter inch segments for a school project. How many three-quarter inch pieces of rope will he have when he's finished? So I'm going to take that 23 and a quarter, and I'm going to divide it by three quarters. Again, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to turn that um, away from a mixed number. So I'm going to do 23 times 4. Well, I'm going to just double that, 46, and double it again, 92. Add that one to it, and that gives me 93 fourths. So I have 93 fourths. That's the exact same as that. And I want to divide that into three quarters, right? Which is the same as 93 fourths times the reciprocal 4 over 3. Then I'm going to see if I could cancel anything. Four will go into here once, into here once. I know that 93 is divisible by three as well. Three is going to go into 90 30 times with three left over. So I could see that's going to go in there 31 times. So that three will go into here once. Three will go into here 31 times. Again, three times 31 is 93. Everything else is canceled out, and that gives me 31. Does that even make sense? Let's think about that. The thing's 23 inches long. I'm cutting it into pieces less than an inch, three quarters of an inch. So I'd expect, you know, a fair bit more than that, like a quarter more or so. So 31 does make sense. Correct answer, answer C right there. Last problem right here, number 34. Ms. Goldbaum earned 36.75 for working three and a half hours. What was her hourly wage? So again, I'm expecting a value, you know, like a third of that or so. So this is her total amount, 36.75, to decimal. And right here I have fractions. I'm going to divide it by 3 and a half. I'm going to turn that into improper fraction. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7 halves. And I got decimals and fractions. I probably want to use one or the other. I know that 36.75 is 36 and 3 quarters. I think I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to 
turn this into an improper fraction. 36 times 2, 72. 72 times 2 is 144 plus 3. So that's 144 plus 3, 147 fourths divided by 7 halves or times 2 over 7. 2 goes into here once and into here twice. Um, the 7 go into here? I think it does. 147 divided by 7 goes in here twice, 14, 7, 21 times. So 7 will go into here 21 times and into here 1 time. So now I have 21 times 1, 2 times 1. So I have 21 halves, right? 21 halves. 2 goes into 21 10 times with 1 left over, so I have 10 and a half. 10 and a half in dollars is ten dollars and fifty cents. Correct answer, answer B. All right, well, I sure hope this helped with fractional word problems. They're pretty tricky, and the fact that they have a lot of steps. First, you really have to decode uh, what you're given, then what they're asking for, then you got to know all your fractional um, math, like dividing is multiplying by the reciprocal, reducing, a lot of long multiplication and division. Different ways to do it, but these seem like the easiest ways for me to do them. All right, well, keep studying, keep practicing. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments. I really appreciate you watching, subscribing, and hitting that like button. Sharing the video with others really helps me build my channel, um, which helps me do more and more videos. Thank you.